Good afternoon. Jalaj, yes. please take your seat. And please introduce yourself. Sir, I am Jalaj Kashyap. I am from Muzaffarpur, Bihar. Sir, I did my schooling from DA in Muzaffarpur since class 10. After that, I moved to Bilai for my 11th and 12th. Post that, I, I did my graduation from NIT Rapur in Electrical Engineering. After that, I served in LNT for two years as Senior Engineer Electrical. And uh, post that, I am preparing for civil services. My hobbies are singing Bollywood songs on karaoke, beatboxing, as well as diary writing. You left the job LNT in 2018? Yes, sir. And then after, uh, what have you been doing? Sir, I am preparing for civil services for the... How many times you appeared for civil services? Sir, I have appeared three times. Three times. And what was the outcome? Sir, uh, means I was not able to clear the prelims. Prelims. Yes. Okay. This year, are you appeared? No, sir. This year, I am focusing on the other state PCS and regulatory bodies. Have you appeared for BPSC? Yes, sir. I appeared this time. Uh, BPSC 66 or 67? Sir, 67. Already uh, prelims have been completed? Yes sir, but the paper was leaked, ah, so okay. it has now been postponed. But new date has not been announced? Uh, sir, they have announced that in the last week of okay. August. But the, no, no foreign date is not no, there. Okay, okay. Okay, mm, Jalaj. okay Jalaj, uh, uh, my panel member will start the interview and I will join in the last. Hello Jalaj, uh, tell me why do you want to come uh, join this job? Sir, I had the urge to prepare for civil services and work in social service sector since my graduation. Uh, then I appeared for UPSC prelims examination, but I was not able to qualify that exam. So since last one option, I am looking after the options which are other than UPSC, but in line with the uh, civil services sector like uh, state PCS and EPFO. So it will help me in uh, in the attainment of my aspiration as well as uh, it will give me a, a good job opportunity also. so i want your comment on the state of social security in india sir social security in india has been uh, the prime importance since the formation of constitution it is mentioned in dpsp also right now also government has taken several steps in the direction of social services for the upliftment of women as well as uh, physically weak, weaker uh, uh, sections of the society and children. So there are various schemes related to, to that also like PM Matru Banna Yojana for pregnant women and uh, Sugamya Bharat Yojana for physically disabled person and for old age person also we have PM Vayoshri Yojana. So government has taken several steps. So EPFO works in organized sector yes right a lot of people uh, were left in unorganized sector yes so is there any proposal of government to uh, impart social security benefits to unorganized sector uh, workers yes sir uh, government has introduced uh, the new labor codes although they have not been implemented in that uh, government has defined uh, the uh, the availing the social security to the unorganized sector as well and it has also defined various new types of uh, people working in the organized sector as an organized unorganized worker like gig and uh, platform worker also okay. what are three schemes administered by epf sir that is the uh, epf and mp act uh, the second one is uh, employee pension scheme and the third one is a uh, employee deposit linked insurance scheme and they are under which act sir the uh, employee pension scheme is uh, the eps act 1990 sir i am not sure of the exact year and the EDLI, edli scheme is edli act of 1976 jalaj you come from bihar uh, yes, Tell me three particular problems which Bihar is currently facing and which needs to be urgently attended to. Sir, first issue the Bihar is facing is the, uh, the, the Bihar is mostly dependent upon agriculture, but the agriculture is mainly dependent upon the rain fed situations, means irrigation facilities are not there. So that is one of the economic uh, crisis there. 
and the second thing is uh, the air pollution in several districts of Bihar like in my hometown also there is a huge problem of air pollution the the third issue is the high crime rate that that is prevalent in the society in, in the Bihar so crime rate uh, are you saying it as per any government data or the source of your statement sir in general i have lived there so i have observed that also and there are government data but exact figure i am not able to okay recollect okay as per ncrb data uh, is are there states ahead of bihar with respect to crime rates yeah sir. yes sir mp was also ahead of bihar in uh, i think sir violence against women mp was in the forefront uh, apart from that sir okay i am done for this okay sir jal jal aap ye karoke pe gaane gaate hain kya hai aapki youtube channel ka naam kya hai सर मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल का नाम जलज कश्यप थी मैं जलज कश्यप जी कितने फॉलोवर्स आपके सर तीन सौ दस तीन सौ बीस का नाम है सर वो सब लोग आपके दोस्त हैं या अन्य लोग भी ज़्यादा हैं सर सारे तो दोस्त नहीं हैं कुछ दोस्त हैं और कुछ ऐसे भी इंजीनियर नहीं जानता हूँ तो क्या लगता है आपको कि यूट्यूब की क्या पॉलिसी होती है पैसा कमाने के लिए सर पहले तो कोई कॉपीराइट स्ट्राइक नहीं होना चाहिए उस पर जो कि मतलब कैरियो के मैं डाउनलोड करता हूँ तो उस पर रहते हैं तो उसको हम हम मोनेटाइज नहीं कर सकते जो पेरेंट चैनल है वहाँ पे मोनेटाइजेशन जाता है उसके बाद टेन लाइक्स के अकॉर्डिंग उनको मोनेटाइज नहीं होता है तो मिनिमम कितना है जिस पर स्टार्ट होता है पेमेंट सर सॉरी सर कोई क्राइटेरिया है मिनिमम हाँ सर सर आपके आपने तीन अभी आपके फॉलोअर्स हो गए अभी कितने लाइक्स होंगे लगभग सर लाइक्स डिपेंड करते हैं वीडियो टू वीडियो किसी में मतलब 500 600 लाइक्स है तो आपको पेमेंट वगैरह स्टार्ट हो गया है नहीं सर मेरे वीडियो मोनेटाइज नहीं हो सकते क्योंकि कैरियो के सॉन्ग मुझे किसी दूसरे चैनल से लेना पड़ता है तो कॉपीराइट स्ट्राइक करते हैं उस पर वॉइस मेरी रहती है पर ट्रैक किसी और चैनल पर मेल भी कर चुका ओके तो आप किसके सॉन्ग्स सबसे ज़्यादा पसंद करते हैं सर अभी प्रेजेंट टाइम में मुझे अरिजीत सिंह के सॉन्ग्स काफ़ी अच्छे लगते हैं और पुराने सॉन्ग्स में मोहम्मद रफ़ी किशोर कुमार के सॉन्ग अच्छा अच्छा चलिए मुझे ये बताइए कि अन ऑनलाइन सेक्टर के लिए क्या क्या स्कीम्स है ई हुई है सर ई की अब अभी तो अन ऑनलाइन सेक्टर उसके परव्यू में नहीं आता है पर ई एक श्रम सुविधा पोर्टल इंट्रोड्यूस किए हैं जिनमें कि वर्कर्स अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन अन ऑनलाइन सेक्टर के वर्कर्स अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन करवा सकते हैं उसके अलावा उसके अलावा यू नंबर दिया जाता है जो भी वर्कर्स रजिस्टर करते हैं उस पर और उनको सोशल सिक्योरिटी भी दी जाती है जो इंश्योरेंस तो आप क्या लगता है कि अन ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर को कवर किया जाना चाहिए और करें तो फिर क्या ई पी एफ के अंदर कवर किया जाना चाहिए या कोई और नई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऐसी बनाई जाना चाहिए सर मुझे लगता है कि अन सेक्टर को कवर किया जाना चाहिए क्योंकि नब्बे प्रतिशत से ज़्यादा जो इंडिया के वर्क फोर्स हैं वो अन ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर को ही बिलोंग करते हैं और ई में उनको इंक्लूड करने का फ़ायदा ये रहेगा कि ई की ऑलरेडी एक मशीनरी है बट उसके डिसएडवांटेज भी हैं कि ई ऑलरेडी ओवर बर्डन है तो या तो हम लोग ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का स्केल बढ़ाना चाहिए उसमें ज़्यादा रिक्रूटमेंट करनी चाहिए और या फिर हम कोई नया ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भी बना सकते हैं ठीक है और ये आपने जो श्रम सुविधा पोर्टल बोला है ये कब से स्टार्ट हुआ है सॉरी सर एग्जैक्ट ई श्रम पोर्टल क्या है यस सर ई श्रम पोर्टल सर ई श्रम पोर्टल ई श्रम पोर्टल भी श्रम सुविधा के अंदर ही आता है उस उसी पोर्टल पे सर अनुभव सेक्टर का रजिस्ट्रेशन किया जाता है अच्छा अच्छा ये बताइए सेवा निधि प्रोग्राम क्या है सॉरी सर अभी अरे ये जो अग्निवीर है यस अग्निवीर तो चार साल के लिए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वर्क कर एक तरह से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वर्क करते तो पी एफ अपना ही होता है यस तो क्या इन पर पी एफ अप्लाई होगा सर सॉरी सर ये मुझे एग्जैक्ट पता नहीं कि बिहार में कौन सी मेजर इंडस्ट्रीज है जिन जो जिस पे पी एफ कवर्ड है ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर की कौन सी मेन इंडस्ट्रीज है 
फिर एग्रो प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री जो वहाँ पर जो लार्ज स्केल की है उसके बाद लेदर लेदर बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री है सिल्क इंडस्ट्री है जो कि भागलपुर में है उन पर पी एफ अप्लाई होता है और जो भी गवर्नमेंट कौन सा सिल्क मिलता है बिहार में आपको सर भागलपुर साइड में मिलता है सिल्क का एग्जैक्ट सिल्क कितने प्रकार के इंडिया में ठीक है। चेन्नई एंड सर इन चेन्नई मोस्टली द डिशेस लाइक डोसा इडली आई नो द डिशेस आर डिफरेंट एवरीवन नो व्हाट इज द मेन डिफरेंस सर द मेन डिफरेंस इज द इन बिहार वी हैव मींस द यूज ऑफ बोथ राइस एंड व्हीट व्हाइल मोस्ट ऑफ द डिशेस ऑफ चेन्नई आर मेड बाय मोस्टली राइस ओके एनी अदर डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंस इन क्यूजिन सर दिस इज द मेजर डिफरेंस दैट <coughs> and it's means basically the same in bihar you call it bhat yes what do they call rice in chennai sir i am not exactly aware about the tamil term for rice no no what are the term do you know any tamil words yes sir seri is seri and mm-hmm. what does it mean sir seri means uh, okay and ama is the tell for yes these two terms were okay. sometimes used in my office what is the term for no sorry sir i don't know okay you have lived in raipur also yes sir. so uh, how, what do have you seen new raipur Sir, I once visited New Raipur uh, when there was one cricket match. So hmm. the international stadium is there. So I visited there once. So what are your views on the new Naya Raipur? Sir, it is a very uh, good initiative and a very big scale initiative by Chhattisgarh government. Hmm. In that they have planned to shift the administ- administrative capital from Raipur to Naya Raipur. Is it success or not? Sir, right now the work is in progress, mm. and uh, there are some bottlenecks for, uh, like with respect to the investment in in those area and and shifting of uh, people from uh, the Raipur to Naya Raipur location. These are some of the issues that are present right now. Why new cities are not so successful in India? While China is creating mega cities one after another, last twenty years they have created ten new mega cities at least. Sir, I think that uh, means there is a mix in China. Also, they planned one city which is which is which was uh, called Ghos, which is called Ghost Town. Now it is because no uh, investment went there. And in India, actually, it it all depends on the whether there are appropriate resources and proper planning before uh, shifting any place. What kind of due diligence is required? Tell me point wise. Sir, first of all, proper mapping of the resources that are available near the new area. Second thing, what are the potential industry that we can set up in the new area? Third is the uh, how the residential planning and uh, how the waste management system. But don't you think these all these things are being done? Sir, in few cases, the studies uh, that we do before planning are not uh, means they do not go as per the plan. Uh, okay, so uh, Island T manufactures a lot of defense equipment. Also, do you have any idea? Yes, sir. What kind? Sir, right now it has uh, given army uh, one um, uh, tank, which is very advanced tank. I am not able to recollect its uh, name. Uh, and apart from that, it supplies the Indian Navy, Indian Coast Guard ship, ships also. With Indian Navy, Indian Coast Guard. In, Indian Coast Guard ships, sir. Indian Coast Guard ships. Sir. So ha. Are these two different bodies? Yes, sir. The Indian Coast Guard is under which ministry? Sir, it is. It should be under Home Ministry of Home Affairs. 
the Minister of Defense only. Is, uh, I'm not very really sure about it. Okay. Do you know what Assam Rifles? Yes, sir. Under which ministry it is? Sir, it, it is under Ministry of Home, Home, Home Affairs. Are you sure? Yes, sir, it is under CAPF. So. What is beatboxing? Sir, beatboxing is emulating the precursionist inst instrument by using. Do it. Do it. Sir, I know. Which instrument we are emulating? Sir, the, basically the octopad that is used in the industry. Achha, which other instruments can you emulate? Sir, mostly beatboxing is uh, concentrated towards emulating this. Uh, uh, Only this instrument? Yes, this instrument as well as uh, tabla, but I am able to emulate this one. It's mostly it's producing different beats of this particular instrument. So someone else will sing and you will do this? Yes, sir. Okay, so, but this is very unusual, like, do people appreciate this kind of music? Yes, yes sir, in recent times, uh, it was uh, originated by hip-hop hip -hop culture, but in recent times, there has been uh, upthrust to this uh, this particular skill. In fact, the... So do, don't you think this, all this beatboxing and hip-hop and all this, they are destroying our culture? Sir, I think that... Uh, is there any positive contribution of these things? Yes, sir, there is positive contribution. It adds the diversity to the conventional music, first of all. Is diversity in itself a desirable thing? Yes, sir, with the increasing amount of uh, diverse set of people, they have different interests. So, uh, in the recent music, if we see music revolution also, there, there has been various type of songs which are liked by the common public. So, I think that the diversity is good in with respect to music. Okay, <coughs> okay Zalaj, uh, tell me the specialities of Mujafarpur. Sir, Mujafarpur is uh, mainly uh, known for its Shahi Lichi production. Hmm. It is also termed as Lichi capital of uh, India. Hmm. And uh, apart from that, uh, Mujafarpur has several cuisines uh, like uh, Sattu, uh, which are uh, means produced, produced there. Hmm. And in respect to cultural and historical terms, it has uh, it is known for the Khudiram Barakpur Mutiny. It has also Khudiram Bose Memorial there. So these are the major things. There is something historical places also, temples or whatever coming to your mind in the city itself. Sir, one is Khudiram Bose Memorial that I have already said. Second is uh, Baba Garib Nath Temple that is also called as Devghar of Bihar. Hmm. And uh, then sir, Juba Sani Park is there, means it is named after, it is not actually a historical place, but it is named after a historical uh, person who was involved in Quitinia movement, and that was Juba Sani. Mm -hmm. so, it's a smart city also? Yes sir. So, what is, uh, uh, what, uh, what is the progress in that regard, the smart city? Sir, on ground there has not been significant progress, still the problem of sewage as well as uh, uh, the uh, congestion in the city is, is, is there, but uh, the government has taken several steps like there is one Mutijil area in Mulaparpur where it is expanding the roads. Work is going on, but uh, it has not been fully achieved. Why the child dies there due to, during, during this lychee season? Sir, actually unripe lychee, if, if a child is malnutrition and uh, he, he or she consumes uh, the unripe, unripe lychee, it produces toxin in the uh, in the stomach of the child and due to which he dies. Please tell the uh, tourist places of Bihar, at least five. Sir, one is Bodh Gaya. Hmm. Sir, uh, second is uh, uh, this, uh, Vikra, uh, this uh, in West Champaran, we have one tiger reserve. reserve. What is the name of the tiger reserve? Sir, uh, the exact name. I am not able to recall that. Also. Valmiki Tiger. Yes, sir. Valmiki Tiger is there. Valmiki Tiger. How many sanctuaries are there in Bihar? Sir, there are several uh, wildlife sanctuaries. Exact. Uh, name, name a few. Sir, Bhimban Wildlife Sanctuary is there. Kamur Wildlife Sanctuary is there, which is proposed to be upgraded to Tiger Reserve. Hmm. Uh, so, and then uh, Bodhgaya. In Bodhgaya also, we have. Please tell 10 existing industries in Bihar. 10. 
sir uh, we have agro processing industries mm -hmm. we have la leather industries we have lac industries which is also known as lati uh, in bihar we have silk industries and uh, then uh, we have uh, Uh, we have uh, in, in energy sector also we have some power plants there so we have um, that industry and uh, sir so these are the major industry that i can think of. and what is the potential sir so there is a, <coughs> there is a huge potential in in the upgrading two three two three potential i would like yes sir so there is a huge potential in the upgradation of the agro processing industry especially in terms of horticulture items like uh, uh, lychee uh, lychee and other fruits also the second thing is uh, with respect to uh, the it industry there is a potential because it industry only needs uh, the workers uh, which is, which are present in great number in bihar they can be skilled and it industry can be set up there the third thing is uh, with respect to um, sorry sir only these two why uh, sugar factories are locked there in the era of uh, ethanol policy of india sir exactly the number at one hand in yes, bihar want to uh, do lot of things in industrial areas industrial growth yes, but there are already existing sugar factories are there but why they are closed why they are not been revived in the era of ethanol policy you got the question Yes, sir. I got the question, but there have no no reason. You nothing coming to your mind, sir. I means I am not exactly aware of the government provision, but I can think of a few. What is the old name of Patna? Yes, sir, Patli Putra. Where from this name came? Patli Putra, sir. Sorry, sir. What is Patli? Sorry, sir. Okay. Now the formant is over. Jalaj. 